Are you a caregiver and are you stressed? Well, you're not alone. Today's topic is taking care of yourself, tips for a caregiver. Welcome to Lantern Rays TV. We deliver unbiased, unopinionated, fact-based, purposeful information when you need them. My name is Joanna and I am the Admissions and Marketing Director for the Lantern of Saybrook. Well, let's start with some stats. The average age of a family caregiver is 49, but 10% are seniors themselves. Caregivers over 75 are usually taking care of a spouse or a partner. No surprise there. 39% of caregivers leave their jobs to have more time to care for their loved ones. 34% leave because their job does not provide a flexible work schedule or the vacation or personal days that they need. Um, caregivers, they got a tough go of it. Um, they suffer loss of wages and health insurance, um, retirement savings, investments. 10 million caregivers aged 50 plus um, who care for their parents lose an estimated three trillion in wages, um, pension, retirement funds, benefits, not to mention the toll that it takes on their health. 30% uh, of caregivers die before uh, the person that they are caring for, um, along with an increased risk of drugs and alcohol consumption, um, depression, isolation, anxiety, um, and just plain caregiver burnout. Um, so what are some of the signs of caregiver stress? Well, of feeling overwhelmed, um, often feeling tired, um, over or under sleeping, losing or gaining weight, easily irritated or angry is usually a pretty good sign that you need a break. Um, you start losing interest in other things. Um, you, you get depression, headaches, body aches. Um, you know, you're, you're hitting that drugs and alcohol just to help you relax and unwind um, at the end of the day. Um, reasons that may cause these stresses, um, hey females, you know, we're it. Um, living with a person that you're caring for. Um, if you're a reluctant caregiver, you know, not everyone was given a choice on whether or not they wanted to care for that loved one. Um, sometimes it's the only child or the only child that steps up. Um, and it's not necessarily that they wanted to, but nobody else um, volunteered. Um, you, know, you spend a lot of hours caregiving. It's, a, it's an exhausting um, process. You know, it's filled with love and, and happiness and you want to do everything for them, but um, you're just one person. Um, dealing with someone, a loved one that has um, Alzheimer's disease, um, that stress can reach epic levels. Um, financial difficulties, uh, social isolation. Um, sometimes when you're caring for um, a spouse um, that has Alzheimer's disease, um, you tend not to invite people into your home because you don't want people to see um, how your spouse um, has declined. Uh, so you tend to not do parties, family get-togethers because you just don't um, you just don't want to bring them out. Um, the balance of caregiving for a loved one and caring for your own family and your own work responsibilities, you know, you're working from morning till night. Um, you need to uh, manage some of that caregiver stress and here's some tips to do that. You need to accept help, um, simple as that. Um, This is true, especially for women. Um, we tend to be martyrs. Uh, we tend never to ask for help. Um, when people offer to help, let them help you. Um, even that smallest task um, can help that caregiver get that few minutes of relief from caregiving duties. Um, ask for help. Again, women, we are guilty of not asking for help. Um, unfortunately, this attitude can lead to feelings of isolation, frustration, um, even depression. Um, one person cannot be expected to take on all 
of the caregiving responsibilities. Um, caregivers, you are going to have guilt. Um, you're not going to feel like you're able to do it all. Um, and you can only do what you can do. You can't do it all. I mean, you need to really give yourself a break um, and just do what you can do. Um, you're doing the very best that you can. Um, you know, give yourself a break. Uh, there are lots of caregiving resources. There's meal delivery, transportation, daycare for seniors, uh, delivery of prescriptions, grocery delivery, home health, hospice. There are lots of resources. You just need to take advantage of them. There are a lot of support groups. Um, and you don't even have to leave your home for them. Um, if you have a Facebook account, go on Facebook. Whatever you are struggling with, there is a face group, Facebook group for you. Um, they, they provide that understanding um, and encouragement, offer problem solving, things that worked for them. Um, and you're really able to vent on a venue that understands what you're, what you're going through. Um, make sure that family of yours gets involved. This is usually a big problem. Um, usually one family member um, is in charge of that loved one um, and they take on that burden of, of care. Um, this is not a one-man job. It's all hands on deck. Um, this is an emotional journey and families should get the support that's needed. Um, caregivers need to make time for themselves. Um, have a healthy lifestyle, get plenty of rest, um, don't forget about your own annual screenings, your own health checks um, with your doctor. And just like you would take a vacation from work, you need to take a vacation from caregiving. Um, <clears throat> many options are, are available um, from family to home health to a respite uh, stay in a, in a care facility. Um, if you do not take care of yourself, I mean, how do you expect to care for your loved one. Um, the love and the care that they need is extraordinary um, and it really does take a toll on you. It's okay to ask for help. Um, it's okay to cry, have feelings of ice, uh, frustration, you know, and it's okay to have feelings of guilt, um, to even feel angry. Um, these are all normal emotions um, and it's okay when you get to the point where you can't do it anymore to admit your loved one into a care facility. Um, don't be afraid to contact your doctor when those feelings turn to depression, anxiety. There is help out there, but you need to ask for it. Um, please, when it comes time to look for those care facilities, take the time, do your research, um, look into all the facilities, and doing that gives you that confidence that you're making the right decision for your parents your loved one, your spouse, and um, you'll feel a lot better about it in the end. Uh, thank you for inviting me into your world. Hope the information was helpful. Let me know if you would like to learn about a specific subject or topic. Shoot me an email, info at lanternraytv.com. Happy and healthy aging, and see you soon. Thank you.